Yes. How's it going guys? This is Rio Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. Glorious weekend and the sun is out. Great time to be shooting outside. I recently went to a local camera store called Koide Camera and they are a, sort of like a public like consumer oriented film shop slash printing DPI type of shop and I found this like interesting like film stock called Vi 400 and I never saw anything like it and after digging doing some a little bit of research I found out that the Vi 400 and is sort of like a third party company like purchasing like film from either from Kodak and Fujifilm and basically buys it in bulk from the underground route and kind of respools it into these like custom oriented like film canisters and pr sort of like sell them for ridiculous prices not ridiculous prices but more like a little bit above margin price and I purchased mine for like roughly $13 maybe $12-$13 for a 27 exposure film with an ISO rating of 400 and and when I looked at the box, it said made in designed in Germany, but made in Japan. So I'm guessing that this like film stock is actually purchased. The original stock has to be from Fujifilm, something similar to Superior 400, and just making a wild guess. Interesting that not many people actually mentioned this film stock because I guess it's like really hard to find and it's not that much of an interesting type of film, but. I, w I took the gamble and just purchased it to see how it would perform in the sunny environment as of now. And as for the like important part where I shot with this film sock, I went to a location in Shibuya and you guys know Shibuya is this crowded, busy location where I typically never go to because I don't want to see a lot of people. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my type of, that's basically me. and. Honestly, if there was one area in particular that I really want to shoot, it would probably be Miyashita Park, Shibuya. And a lot of people don't know this area, but this area was before, like a couple of years back, was a re really sketchy area. <laughs> Honestly, it was really, how should I say, a, sort of like a dangerous part of area in Shibuya because it was a rundown park and there were like, it was there's like a skateboard park and there's like these recreational exercising areas where you can do bouldering and stuff and people dancing and doing random stuff but it was a really sketchy area but until recently they actually renovated this area I think one year ago or maybe this year I forgot when they opened but due to this pandemic I got, I got dragged over and they basically sort of combined this element of sort of like having a public park at the top and on the second floor they made these like boutique shops first floor shopping areas and along with that they kind of combine that park and if you go, go across the park there's actually a really tall like hotel that they built which is a nice place to stay if you're interested for roughly 150 to 200 dollars i went off topic but it's an interesting location because it kind of coincides to what i shoot which is like these deserted areas with this isolated vibe to it and as the film stock suggests yes i wanted to shoot this area with this film stock so i just picked up my nikon f3 camera along with this film stock and went out to shoot i went out to shoot on a weekend i did not expect so many people to be in that park i actually shot there once previously a long time ago with my gw690 back then it was really nice and i was like testing that camera out and shot with portra 400 but this time around i guess due to the fact that the pandemic has subsided and we're getting roughly only 20 people infected per day in tokyo right now more and more people are going out more and more people are going to these public parks and this area was like bombarded ash honestly so it wasn't the best experience shooting with this film but because i was shooting with a 35 mil format it was a flexible option and i ha didn't have to take my patience to shoot and it and more i was like shooting in a sort of like a street type of style so it kind of matched perfectly with a nikon f3 in this busy scenario so yeah, so let's get going then. I will be like shooting with a Vi 400, like I said, 27 exposures with a Nikon F3 with a 50mm 1.8 lens. So yeah, let's get going to 
Shibuya Miyashita Park. Keep in mind that this like Miyashita Park is located roughly 10 minutes away from Shibuya Station but due to the fact that Shibuya Station there's like so many exits there's like 20 exits if you take the wrong exit it's gonna take you 30 minutes to get to that park so please do your research if you're ever coming to this area and it's not a like a really hard location to find you can find it on Google and you can like calculate how which route to take which like exit to take so Hopefully that will help a lot of people. And at the same time, it's probably one of the best locations to hang around, not on a Saturday and Sunday from my experience, but now, like if you're ever coming during the weekdays, it's a great location to just relax and chill and like sit in this, like a grass. It's, it's like a really open space and it's like really, really like calm environment, somewhere that I love to be in, so yeah after shooting with this film stock it does have this fujifilm vibe as the name suggests and as you can see there the greens and seans are apparent in the photos especially in the shadows people who there might be people who would love it or people who would hate it i typically do not like to shoot fujifilm in the shadows because of that you know cyan slash green magenta tint that looks apparent in the photos and I had to sort of balance that out in post which took a little bit of time but in my case I'm used to it so it's all right to shoot but I had to mention to a lot of people that these third-party respool like film stocks are expensive compared to the typical stocks that you purchase for purchase from Kodak and Fujifilm due to the fact that they're basically buying in bulk but they're they have to do that manual labor or mechanical labor of respooling it onto their own custom made film canisters you know that takes a lot of time so in my case 
this film stock is actually 100 yen, so that's like one dollar or maybe two dollars more expensive than the Fuji film Superior 400, which is not a good, good option to be shooting most of the time. Like typically, I shoot with Superior 400 or Fuji Color 100, so not cost perform cost performance ratio wise, it's not the best option available. As for third party like manufacturers besides Vive 400, and also Yashica does the exact same thing. Lomography, on the other hand, is different because due to the fact that they are third-party sort of manufacturers buying from Kodak, but their price range is actually really aggressive compared to Kodak in terms of like cost performance wise. And it's interesting because they have a different marketing strategy of instead of selling in just one roll, they typically sell in rolls of three. So it makes the whole package much cheaper than buying a single roll film. And, and sometimes they only sell like one roll at a time, such as their black and white series, if I'm right. Their Potsdam, like film stock, black and white, they only sell in one stock. So I have the, I guess they have their own marketing strategies while they're like color negatives, such as CN, Lomography 100, Lomography 400, Lomography 800, they only sell in bulk of three, so. That's something to mention. And I also forgot to mention that this area I actually previously shot with my GW690. I was like testing it out after I recently purchased it. So that was like a couple of years back, not one year back, when, but when the pandemic started. And during this time, I actually shot the exact same location, but there were so less people than this time around when I shot with a 35 mil film format. I mean, I enjoyed being in this area because it was like so isolated, no people, honestly, it was paradise to me. And although I shot with a medium format camera back then, it was like a great experience. I mean, I wish I could shoot this area again, but I realized that now that the pandemic is starting to sort of dwindle in numbers in terms of people being infected. Right now in Tokyo, there's only 20 people being infected right now, which is forcing more it's like forcing more people to go out to go to these public parks and more like crowded areas are getting much more crowded and this time when i went to shibuya it was a uh, chaos so uh not a great location to be shooting in honestly and this is basically the only location that i would love to shoot if i had the opportunity but in future times to come it's going to get much more crowded so i don't know what's going to happen in the new future so yeah. Oh yeah. One thing that I forgot to say in this video, I should have said it in the beginning of the video, but if you're ever coming to Shibuya, Tokyo, there's, and if you're a film, aggressive film shooter, there's actually one camera shop that you should always visit, which is the camera Kitamura shop located on Dogenzaka. I'll stick it in a map somewhere and some BTS footage footage type of porn for you guys but this like shop is like really interesting i visited this shop one year ago because i really go to shibuya but this shop when i previously went they didn't have that many of a film stock on their shelves but this time around 2021 they sort of like enlarged that like not surface area but the area of coverage of shelf covering only film stocks and, uh, and as you can see they have probably one of the widest range of film stocks available in Tokyo I can probably state that because if you look at the you know video there's like so many like it's been a while since I've seen this many like film stocks on the shelf compared to a big camera and Yodobashi camera they have like probably two times more film stocks than them and it's probably one of the best locations to purchase film if you're if you want to like restock on film both 35 mil and medium format they have almost every single type of film available that's being sold as of now and they also have the Lomography 100 if you're interested in it so yeah if you're in Tokyo please like visit this shop I mean and at the same time they know what they're doing this shop specifically because they have a small like what we call shelf for CR123 batteries and C see i forgot the name of the batteries but if you like shoot with a digital camera a digital film camera you know what i'm talking about they ha they have these like specifically cr123a batteries and c I, I keep forgetting the name of the batteries but they have those batteries lr44 sv44 if you shoot like slrs nikon you know what i'm talking about but yeah 
please visit the shop if you're like interested in film photography and hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions or any like i don't know advice i'm pleased to be like happy to like respond during my free time so hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you liked it and we will see you next time peace